VE pump disassembly. That's what you'll be learning about this Bosch distributor type fuel injection pump. This is part two of a series brought to you by Bosch. When you finish this program, you'll be able to disassemble the VE pump using written VE repair instructions. Now to start with, you should have a clean working environment. Be sure you have all factory service tools as listed in the diesel service instructions. Cover. With the pump mounted in the proper flange adapter and clamp, you begin by removing the overflow fitting. Place it on a clean shop rag. Now, tip the pump over to drain the fuel from the pump. You'll recall that the pump is normally full of fuel. Next, remove the control lever from its shaft, along with the coil spring. You'll want to unlock and remove the full load stop screw. Then the cover screws will come out easier. As you lift off the cover, push the control lever shaft through it. Set the cover assembly aside. Governor. Remove this C-clip to disengage the governor spring assembly. Now you can slide the governor's spring assembly away from the lever and remove the low idle spring. It's a good idea to reassemble these components and set them on your shop rack altogether. After fitting this special governor shaft pin wrench, you can remove the governor shaft lock nut. With the pump vertical, unscrew the governor shaft. Hold the flyweight carrier so it doesn't fall out. Now, lift out the flyweight carrier assembly. Set these parts on your shop rag. Finally, remove the thrust washer and shim. And that takes care of the governor. Head. Use the special socket tool to remove the central screw plug. Remove three retaining screws from the distributor head and remove the bracket. After removing the bracket, reinstall one screw in the distributor head. Remove each delivery valve holder with its own wear washer and spring. As you remove the delivery valves and gaskets, you'll want to keep each set of delivery valve parts together so that each set can be reinstalled in its respective outlet when you reassemble. Remove the two head retaining screws and lift out the distributor head. Be careful now not to drop the two compression springs and guide pins. In a vise equipped with brass jaws, clamp the distributor head so you can remove the shutoff solenoid. Back at the pump housing, lift out the plunger assembly. That will include the metering sleeve, the plunger return springs, spring seat, thrust washer and shim. And don't forget the pre-stroke spacer under the plunger foot. Support the governor linkage as you use the special socket to remove the support screws and gaskets. Now you can slide out the governor lever assembly. Now lift out the cam plate and you're ready to remove the drive disc with its spring. On some VE pumps, you may find a timing pointer under a cover. Both should be removed. Disassemble the timing device by removing the timing piston cap with shims. Set these aside together. Remove the O-ring and the compression spring. On the other side, remove the cold start advance. You may not find this on all pumps. Reach in to remove the roller cage retaining clip and pin.
With the drive shaft turned so the drive tangs are at right angles to the connecting pin, push the connecting pin to the center of the roller cage. As you remove the timing piston, it's easy to drop the slider, so be careful. Now reach in to lift out the roller cage, complete with rollers. Hold it nice and level, because you don't want the rollers to fall out. If they do, you've got a problem. After you remove the connecting pin from the roller cage, you slip this protective cap over it to be sure those rollers don't fall out. Now you're ready to push the drive shaft upward through the pump housing. From the shaft, remove the woodruff key, governor drive gear, and rubber buffers. And finally, remove the drive shaft thrust washer. And that completes disassembly of the main components of the housing. To remove the supply pump, begin by removing the countersunk screws from the supply pump retaining plate. This is the supply pump holding tool. You lower it out of the housing against the pump retaining plate. As you tilt the pump downward, keep the tool against the retaining plate because the pump has to come out absolutely straight. Here's the best way to do this. While tapping gently on the housing, let the retainer with the whole assembly slip downward and out of the housing. To avoid losing any vanes, place this assembly cup over the impeller assembly. But suppose as you were taking out the supply pump, the eccentric ring tilted and got stuck in the housing. Well, here's the answer. Use a pair of center punches to lift the eccentric ring from the housing. After positioning the pump horizontally, use this special socket to remove the pressure regulator. And finally, remove the drive shaft oil seal from the housing. That completes your disassembly of the VE pump, and you're ready for inspection. Inspection. Now, of course, you'll wash all parts thoroughly and inspect for wear and replace any worn or damaged parts. Smart mechanics coat all parts with test oil to preserve the surface finish. The control edges of the pump plunger must be sharp and the contact surfaces must not show excessive wear patterns. If you must replace parts, remember that some are replaced as assemblies. And of course, you'll use a replacement kit of O-rings, gaskets, and seals whenever the pump is reassembled. When you've inspected all your parts, you've completed your job of disassembly of the VE distributor pump. Brought to you by Bosch.